Brava for OpenText Content Server helps increase efficiency in any workflow, like review and approval cycles, and processes with a high volume of documents, as seen in loan origination. Over the next few minutes, I'll cover how to easily view documents right from Content Server, quickly create comments, and then share those comments with other reviewers, and finally, how to stamp documents for approval and finalize your work. The loan origination process is a great way to demonstrate Brava's efficiencies. Let's say I'm an underwriter responsible for reviewing and approving loan packages before sending them to a title company for funding. Every day, I have a list of tasks to complete for a variety of loan packages that have already been loaded into folders for me. Let me show you what this looks like using Brava for OpenText Content Server. We'll log in as Monique, the underwriter. Monique's first task of the day is to verify the employment status of loan applicants Michael and Julia Wilson. We'll begin with a search for the Wilson's loan package. The search returns a document containing Wilson. This looks like the loan application that Monique needs to review. Clicking on the document launches it in Brava. Using term hit highlighting, it's quick and easy to verify that this is the right loan application. Since verifying employment and salary is a task that Monique does every day, she doesn't waste time scrolling through the document because she knows that page 3 contains the information she's looking for. So she expands the right panel to expose thumbnails where she can quickly pull up page 3. The Wilson's employment information checks out, so she jumps back to the first page to double check the loan amount. The loan amount is for $1.5 million. Monique thinks that the figure looks too high for this type of loan, so she needs to indicate that this might be an issue. She clicks on Annotate, and from the Change Marks icon, she selects Change Marks Text Highlight. Monique highlights the number in question, adds a comment about her concern, and indicates that it needs to be investigated. Brad is the loan specialist involved in the next step of the workflow for the Wilson's loan package. His job is to verify loan documents. We'll log in as Brad. Before Brad even opens the Wilson's loan application, he can immediately see that it has comments. So he clicks on Edit to open the underwriter's review. Note that opening in Edit will not allow Brad to edit or delete any of Monique's comments, but instead it will allow him to add to the discussion thread. The Thumbnails panel lets Brad quickly see where the change mark is located. The Brava exclamation point indicates that the change mark is on page 1. Selecting the Change Marks tab lets Brad see Monique's comment. A review of the loan amount confirms that Monique is correct. This $1.5 million figure is indeed the wrong loan amount. It should be $150,000. The loan specialist uses Brava strike through and text tools to correct the amount. Then he clicks on Add Reply to respond to Monique's change marks comment. Brad closes out to move on to his next task. But oops, Brava points out that Brad forgot to save his markup. Prompted, Brad clicks yes to save and move on. We'll log back in again as Monique, the underwriter, receiving the corrected document back from Brad. Here's Brad's change mark reply with the correct loan amount. Now everything checks out and Monique jumps to the end of the document where she approves the packet by stamping it Approved. As you've just seen, Brava for OpenText Content Server makes it easy to increase efficiency in any workflow. In fact, you could say Brava makes it easy to do more with less.